Hey, what is going on everybody? My name is Ashley and welcome to another Foot Draft Friday. If you do enjoy the video, please drop a like. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. And if you'd like to check out any social media links or links to the previous episodes, they'll be down in the description below. So today we're going to be going into the Foot Draft. And I decided rather than going with a formation that will get me the best players, I decided to go with a formation suited my play style. So I decided to go for a 4-2-3-1, which ha doesn't have wingers, but I don't use formations with wingers. So when our pop captains popped up, the obvious choice here was to take Danny Alves as he is the best rated card there. We move into the centre-back positions, and although Bartra would get a better link, I decided to go in with Pepe. So we move on in to the CDM position now, and we take a Zonzi, and Zonzi is a decent enough player and gets decent links. We move into the next defender's position and get goading then in the left back position we do pick up Gaia then we move on into the CDM spot we don't get a link so we decide to go with Pereira just because he is a player that I do like using we move on into the cam spot we do get that Jonas card the orange man of the match version then we move on into the next cam position again no links to get so we do end up going with Barkley after trying to decide which player to use as he's in the most common league then we get to our striker position and Looking at the players that we got to link up to, I decided to go with Kane just to get a strong link to Barkley, depending on what I can do. Then in the next camp position, we get PZ who gets a link with uh, Jonas and also with the CDM. When we move on in to the bench, we get Marcelo at the left back spot, who is a decent player and will get links with Pepe, so we can swap those two around. When we move on into next position, we don't get really get anyone that helps us out, so we decided to go with DeMarcos. In the next position, again, no one that helps us out here, so we do decide to go with Hunt as he's in the most common league once again, and he could potentially be a player that we do use. Into the next defender's position, although we could have took Trash Rash, we decided to go with Ramsey uh, to try and build into a BPL side. And then in the next position, we don't really get anyone helps us, so we end up taking Ronaldo just as he is the highest rated player there. We move on into the next position. We do get a Cam Ozil who will link in with that Kane and also the Ramsey that we picked up as a CDM. So we're going to go ahead and take him and try and build back towards that BPL side if possible. Then we got our silver option in the next slot, and we decided to go ahead with Eric Dyer just in case we do get like a BPL right back and switch in or BPL left back and switch in that way. We move into the next position, take Bartra as our centre-back who will help us with chemistry. No real option for our next position, so we decide to go with advantage as he is from the new team of the week. Then we get into our next position, and again, no one that really helps out. We could have taken Muller, but we decided to go with Neymar. And in our final outfield position, we decided to go with Carvajal just in case we decided to change things up chemistry-wise. Uh, in the goalkeeper position, we take Bravo, and then in our sub goalkeeper position, we are going to go ahead and pick up Ruffier. Ruffier is a decent enough keeper, no one there gets us any links, so we're going to go ahead and use him. We move on into the managers now, and there are no great managers to pick from, so we decided to go with the only one that we can get chemistry from, and that's one of the Brazilian managers, and we do end up with a uh, 185 team would have been 186 if we got 100% chemistry, but that's all we can do. As we move on into the gameplay, we come up against an opponent who has got a full BPL side, although he has got Pedro on off chem in the centre midfield spot, but he's still a decent enough side. And he gets an early opportunity where he manages to break through here with Yo Yo Torre picking a ball up in a wide area place off to Sanchez. And Sanchez runs past two of my defenders, looks to slot it across. He picks it up with Ozil. Ozil puts it in the back of the net, making it 1 0. Moments later, we get an opportunity for own. Some nice work through to Harry Kane, gets taken out in the area. And the referee is going to go ahead and give a penalty and give a straight red card to Ryan Shawcross, giving us a man advantage. Kane is going to be the man to step up from the spot and dispatch it away, giving us a 1 1 scoreline. Then into extra time we go, and my opponent gets an opportunity here, crosses the ball in with Bell. We pick the ball up with Bro, throw it out poorly. They win the ball back here. Namos uh, honours the substitute, smash it into the back of net, making it 2 1 to my opponent. And then he gets another opportunity, some nice work here by Kieran Trippier, playing it into Gareth Bell. Bell plays it through to Ozil. Ozil turns on it, shoots into the top corner, giving my opponent a 3 1 lead, which was extremely disappointing as. As you can see by the match stat shortly, we absolutely dominated this game and his keeper made unreal saves to keep him in it. We had 10 shots to his 3. We move on into the packs now and again, nothing special from these packs. We did pick up 2 gold packs and a lone player pack. 
nothing in either of the gold packs really, so just a straight discards really, but I'm going to keep all the contracts and consumables. And then in our loan pack, we end up getting David De Gea, which is a decent enough keeper. But that's going to bring an end to the episode, guys. I hope you have enjoyed. Until next time, my name's Ashley. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.